Hey Facebook, how are you guys? Um, so I wanted to come to you, I know, uh, or I hope, a lot of you guys saw my post um, about these last few days that have been just crazy. Uh, the great news is today was such an awesome hike. It was just so wonderful. I had an opportunity to be slack packed, which means that you know, someone um, takes the in, or I leave the in, like the stuff of my, the stuff, like my um, backpack stuff, sorry, teach. And I don't um, take that with me. So like my sleeping bag, my sleeping pad, um, all those things, my tent. So it is so much lighter. So I was slack packed today. Um, it was just a beautiful hike. It's, it's called the Bigelows. Um, I ascended, I think about 5,200 feet and I descended about 5,000 feet. Um, so it was, it, it, it was 16 and a half miles around that. Um, it was just a magnificent hike. Uh, I really felt like a, um, a good hiker again, you know, because you, you have so much doubt um, out here um, as things, you know, as you're tripping, you're falling, whatever, but I didn't have a backpack on, so it was so cool. Just a beautiful hike. Um, we, you know, hammered it out. It felt so good, so wonderful. So <clears throat> the other, um, one thing I wanted to come to you guys today about is uh, what happened to, um, several days ago. Um, after we had difficulty with a couple streams, and, I, and I, you said something in my post about that, um, the last stream we went across, or maybe it was a brook, that you know, it was like almost to my waist, literally, or was to my waist, um, and the cinnamon, I'm like half her leash, and I'm, you know, basically not pulling her, just encourage her to get in. She got in, and she swam. So after that, the next day, of course, it was raining again, and my friends, um, Danae, just a um, beautiful family, um, the OBGYN I was telling you guys about, they warned me, hey, there's a stream at this next um the next day there's a stream that because they were going south and I was going north so we were crisscrossing each other um, and they were like it was brisk and this was in the morning they, they crossed in the morning it was brisk it was it was you know um, almost to your knees and it was very fast flowing I'm like okay so there's a dirt road before I get there um, so I, I, I get to the dirt road first you know so we pass whatever and I get to the dirt road first of course I'm nervous because I did not want to like wade in this water again and there was like nothing at the dirt road. I'm like, okay, whatever, just go on to the stream. It's like point, it's a 10th of a mile. So I went to the stream, whatever you want to call it. I guess you call it a stream. It's called Bemis or Bemis stream. It was so fast. I was like, there's no way. I mean, and I'm like walking up and down. Thing was so fast. And, and you know, I didn't even see where the rocks are. I mean, I'm still, I know there's rocks underneath of it. I think, but there wasn't like a rock crossing or anything. And, um, and it was, I mean, you could hear it. It was just flowing. And I was just like, this is not right. This is, I, I'm not doing this, you know? And, and um, no, this is not right. I, I really didn't see a good crossing. And um, there was some, uh, looks like beaver activity, maybe, I guess. I don't know, some logs up, up. Just didn't feel right. So I went back to the dirt, because there was a dirt road, right? That looked like so deserted. I went back to the dirt road. Um, and I'm like, what am I gonna do? I'm like walking, I started, I'm like walking back and forth on the dirt road. I'm trying to look on the map to see, like, does this even lead anywhere? And I bet you within um, five minutes of me being up there again, like, two trucks pass. I'm, like, in the middle of the road. You know, so they have to stop. You know, I'm, of course, I'm crying. And I'm like, I need help, you know. And I'm like, I don't want to cross that stream, you know. And, um, and, and I need to get to, like, the next road, which is only, I think, 1.5 miles away via Appalachian Trail. But I, I couldn't, I need to get past the stream to get to the other side of the trail. And so the, and the one guy, of course, I don't know if he, you know, validated me or, you know, I felt validated. He was like, I wouldn't cross that stream either. So I guess the lesson that, that I, I, you know, I'm well aware of, but it really came um, to, you know, to height um, or to, um, came heightened, sorry, and came in the forefront was that uh, listen to, you know, how you feel. And, and, and some people call it a gut feeling. For me, I, you know, I've, all, I've learned in life, I think it's the Holy Spirit, you know, just something wasn't right. It just wasn't, it wasn't right. Um, and I knew, I just knew it. Like, I, I'm not crossing that. I just, I'm not going to, I had no clue what would happen. Maybe it would have been fine. I don't know. But it just didn't feel right. And um, the great thing, the cool thing is, you know, within five minutes of going to the dirt road, there's someone there that's, that takes me to the road. Not only does take me to the road, he like, um, he uh, he gave me pizza. Like he gave me pizza. He, he was he was so nice. He had like a fresh pizza. He had just bought, um, picked up from my. It looks it looked like picked up from the um, pizza place, <laughs> and so I got the first two pieces of that. Um, so I guess that that's one thing. And I think that in life, it's not always easy to do that. You know, I know I have um, not listened. You know, to when things just weren't right and try to make it right. 
um, you know, and, and, and thank God it got out of, of, of um, you know, like my last work situation, got out of that before I, you know, was crushed. Um, but so, and then we all, so we all in our lives sometimes uh, don't listen to that, you know, gut feeling, or like I said, I think it's the Holy Spirit. I'm like, this is just not right. You, you got to move on. You got to change. You got to do something. And so um, I think, you know, take time to recognize that. Take time to reflect and to, you feel that inner that inner spirit when something just doesn't feel right either investigate more ask more questions or um you know or, or, or take a step back and 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 that was um definitely the best thing um that i did i had like say and i got you know ride and i got pizza out of it um so it, it was it, that, that, that's my lesson um you know, this time around it was a great day it was a much needed day i was really feeling down um the last couple of days just because the trail is hard and Today was so great. I just can't, I mean, I actually can't believe how wonderful today was. Um, the hike was beautiful. The views were gorgeous. I'll put some pictures up um, later on. Um, and uh, yeah, they said things are feeling really well. Um, tomorrow we start, it looks like a better um, uh, trail, if you want to say. Like the ascent and descent is much, much, much less, which is nice. Um, and then uh, we enter the 100 mile wilderness um, soon. And then I summit Katahdin. In about in, in a couple in like two weeks um, yeah around two weeks so um, that is my uh, lesson <laughs> and um, you guys just uh, I really appreciate your support because it does help um, because sometimes when you're out here and you're out here so alone and you don't even I don't know just it's just you feel like you're not even like I don't know you're like you're not even doing it right or, or you're not hiking well enough or you're just not good enough and and I, and I think I realized after talking to people that I've passed um, I, I think it's pretty unique that obviously during the pandemic but also to be out here um, as a uh, as a woman um, without a trail you know without like people hiking around me um, with my dog and and um, I'm so blessed for the, for um, Danae and her family and that came into my life um, I hope we get to um, hook up again but uh, you know, it, it definitely is a little bit more unique um, being a, a woman um, that doesn't have, you know, a group of people that I have been um, consistently hiking with over this time. And I've realized now um, that's that, that's a little bit different. It was um, kind of cool today. Like, people are like, oh, yeah, well, you're Moses and Cinnamon, you know, which is kind of fun. Um, I guess because you know, people talk and like, like I said, I'm the only middle-aged woman with a dog, you know, out here, I think, right now that I've seen that's, that's attempting a through hike. Anyway, okay, so one more thing. This is so funny. One more thing. Um, this is funny. This is like this, you know, crazy. So the other thing that, that, that I occurred to me last night, and I was taking a shower. I was at the hostel. Got to wash, you know, wash my hair and everything. And I reached for um, the soap, and I was like, "Huh? So do men have trouble? Like, do I use soap or do I use shampoo? I mean, I have hair like everywhere, uh -huh. and, like places that I don't usually have hair I, everywhere on my body. I'm like, huh? Maybe I should use shampoo to wash all this hair." Anyway, it was just a funny thing I thought of. Like, I wonder if guys feel this way. Did they use soap or shampoo on all this hair that they have growing? Um, anyway, just a goofy thing. Uh, I don't know. I'm a dork, I guess. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for your support. I really do appreciate it, and it really does help um, to know that you guys are rooting. I'm rooting for me, um, and we're gonna keep on going right now. It was a beautiful day, and, and I, you know, re uh, reiterated today like why I'm out here. It's just beautiful, God's country. All right, guys. All right, see ya. Oh, wait, wait. Rick says he uses soap. I don't know. I think I can argue shampoo is probably better off all the hair. But anyway, all right. See you guys.